Hey guys, welcome to another Flutter Basics video. In this video, I'm going to explain a package called Multi-Value Listenable Builder. So, some time back, while working on a project, I had a use case where a widget was dependent on values of multiple value notifiers. And the only way to make that widget update correctly was to use some ugly nested value listenable builders code. To make the code much cleaner and maintainable, I wrote a reusable package called Multi-Value Listenable Builder. So before I begin explaining that package, let me show you an example of multi-value listenable builder. Here is a Flutter desktop application that I am working on. It is basically a particle editor for Flame Engine. And if you look closely, you can see that in the toolbox, I have a section for controlling color of the particles. This works by simply sliding these four sliders to change the ARGB values. And depending on the current state of all the sliders, the color preview shown in the square above the sliders changes. Now, from a coding point of view, each slider depends on only a single value notifier. But the square which shows color preview depends on values of all the four value notifiers. And this is exactly where multi-value listenable builder can help us. So to use that package, all you have to do is go to the pub.dev page and copy this dependency to your pub spec YAML. To save some time, I have already done that and have built the code. Ok, so now that we have everything ready, let's write some code. First, let's replace this text widget with a column. In the children list property of this column, I'll add a container with height and width set to 200. To display the color, I'll set the color property of this container to color.fromargb. For now, let's set all these input parameters to 255. Also, let's set main axis alignment property of column to main axis alignment dot center. And as soon as I save this, you can see that we get a white square in the app. Next, let's create three value notifiers of type int to store values of alpha, red, green, and blue channels of color. And below this container, let's add a value listenable builder which will listen to alpha channel. From the callback function of this builder, let's return a slider widget. And it is showing an error at this line because I forgot to set the type of this value listenable builder as int. Ok, now it is showing another error which says int cannot be assigned to argument of double. This is because the value property of slider widget needs to be a double. So to fix this, I'll convert this value to double by calling to double method on it. Next, in the onChanged callback, we'll receive the new value of slider, which I'll convert to int and set as alpha dot value. Now, as this is a slider, we'll also have to specify an upper and a lower limit for it. This can be done using the min and max property of slider widget. I'll set them to 0 and 255 respectively. If I save this, you can see that now we get a slider below the white square. Next, I'll duplicate this whole value listenable builder three more times and we'll change alpha to red, green and blue. If I save this, now you can see that we have four independent sliders. We just now have to hook values of all these four sliders into the color property of square container. And to do that, I'll wrap this container inside a multi-value listenable builder. This widget has two required properties. First is a list of value listenables and second is a builder function. The builder function receives a build context a list of values from all the value listenables and an optional child widget. So instead of setting this container as child, I'll return it from the builder function. And next, in the value listenables list, I'll specify alpha, red, green and blue value notifiers. And finally, in the color.fromargb constructor, I'll set the argb values from values list using element at method. One thing to note here is that sequence of values inside builder will be the same as sequence of value listenables list. Now as soon as I save this, you can see that the color of container changed. And if I start dragging the sliders around, you can see that the color changes accordingly. So this is how you can use my multi-value listenable builder package. I hope this video and this package helps some of you. If you have any doubts, issues or suggestions, you can leave them in comment section below. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, do hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing for more such content. 
I hope to see you in the next one.